the end of one year and the beginning of the next is actually a really critical time for marriages. When, when a couple has been struggling, when they've mm -hmm. been faced with difficulties over the course of a year, a lot of times they start to look at that new year and, and ask the question, what, what are we gonna do this year? Mm -hmm. How is this year going to be different? And if they don't see a way out, then they're often thinking, you know what? this might be the time for us to start talking to a divorce attorney. This might be, it might be time to pull the plug on this, but really the six pillars of intimacy becomes that framework where hope gets instilled back into the marriage where with specific tools and strategies, when they can see that it's not just, you know, grasping for air, like, oh, we've got to throw the baby out with the bathwater because clearly there's something wrong with us. We just got to get rid of everything. But instead they step into this place and say, oh, this pillar, has a crack in it and we can do something about this pillar. And this is why we have our six pillars of intimacy framework is to help you see exactly what's going on in your marriage for you to identify the cracks that are happening and then allowing you to be intentional and take action in those areas so that you can strengthen your marriage. Either you're going to work on it now or you're going to work on it later. So why don't we work on it now and strengthen every single pillar and then that way you can have the extraordinary marriage you desire. Most couples, I believe, get divorced because they feel like they don't know where to take action. But when a couple has hope and they're equipped with action, they can actually shift from going, you know what, we're going to be a statistic to we're going to create something that's extraordinary.